Hey guys, sorry I haven't made a video in quite a while. Uh, I'm going to try and keep this one really short. Uh, nothing's happened to me, nothing's wrong with me, I'm just being really slack. And um, I've got a whole bunch of stuff happening. Um, I'm sitting on a beanbag in, in my semi-empty room because I'm moving on campus to my university tomorrow, which is about uh, 40 minutes away from my parents. So I'm um, sort of packing everything up and it's been a pro uh, work in progress. So uh, my current weight, even though it's before my weigh-in, which is supposed to be in a couple of days, um, I, my, my weight is 103.4 kilograms. Uh, for my American friends, that is 227.95 pounds. So that's a pretty good loss. I've been stable for quite a while. Um, I saw my doctor and he basically said that um, because of the whole 29 days and not eating thing, um, my muscle just broke down. So what's probably happening is that I'm losing weight, even though I'm not trying to. I'm losing weight, um, but putting on muscle. So um, the, the weight is staying around about the same because of the trade between fat and muscle, which is good. I'm starting to feel really strong again. I uh, was feeling really weak for a while there, and it was just, you know, it was really bad. It's it's such a weird feeling going from um, what I would consider, you know, quite a muscly guy. I mean, I, wouldn't, I wasn't like, you know, but I could lift stuff, you know, and um, and then not being able to lift my own computer and stuff like that. I would get puffed carrying it from my room to the car, which is not a, a great deal distance away. So I'm starting to build my muscle back, and that's great. And uh, losing weight at the same time, so that's also pretty cool. So uh, that that also means that I didn't lose 30 kilograms of fat, which is sort of better than losing 30 gram 30 kilograms of fat. I lost a combination of fat and muscle, which apparently is better than losing just fat. So that's also good. I've been having uh, really intense uh, hunger pains. Um, I told my doctor that and he said that out of all the patients he's done, about two or three reported the same symptoms as me. And I knew as soon as he said that, um, that was me. So <laughs> he's now got three or four <laughs> patients that have had this feeling. And uh, it's basically a build up of uh, stomach acid in the stomach, something's gone wrong, you know, it's not that deadly or anything. So <laughs> just been, uh, I've been taken off Nexium and then that happened, so he put me back on Nexium which is a chemical that reduces the stomach acid. So um, that helps. I've been really slack with my tablets lately. Been really naughty in that respect, so I've got to start taking my tablets again. And um, I've gotten a whole bunch of new clothes. When I got home from the hospital, uh, I was told by pretty much everyone I saw that I needed new clothes. I actually, um, when I was putting on my pants, my jeans, I would actually have to stand with my legs fully apart and then I'd actually have to bend down a bit in order to keep the jeans stretched enough to stay up while I put the belt on. They were just really loose and um, since I was in hospital all that time I didn't really need clothes, you know they gave me clothes, gowns, so uh, I've got new pants and all that and it um, feels really good to fit in clothes. and. Uh, the jeans that I'm, I'm wearing are the really stylish ones that are hipsters. I've always worn just the normal, just the blue jeans because that was the only size I fit in. They don't make those styles, style jeans, you know, the, the, the denim, dirty, washout sort of look, the trendy look. They don't make that in um, ultra huge, overweight kid size. So it's good to, to fit into those, that's nice. Um, with my diet, I haven't been really trying to diet, I've just been eating. So now that I'm moving on campus, I sort of want to start eating healthier. Um, I've been, my diet has been consisting mainly of meat. So I would make up beef stroganoff, and anyone who makes beef stroganoff knows that you put beef with um, normally uh, mushroom and onion, and then you put it on a bed of rice, or some people put it on pasta, I prefer rice. And um, I've just been cooking up the sauce and the meat, and then that's it. So I need to start moving away from that in order to encourage the weight loss a little bit more and um, also work out a little bit more and when I say work out more I mean start working out because I'm not working out at all <laughs> I'm terrible and um, I ha actually have written down so I don't mumble I've been mumbling 
I need to stop it. Uh, new clothes, people ask how I lose weight, doctor visit medication. Okay, covered everything except people ask me how I lost weight. So people, you know, obviously you rock up, you're like, hey, how's it going? 30 kilos lighter. People are going to start going, hey, how'd you lose that weight? I'm getting mixed responses from people because I've been giving mixed answers. If I'm in the mood, I'll explain that I um, had surgery and I lost weight through that. If I'm not, I'll just tell them that I eat less. That's my dad's trick, and it's true, I am eating less. But uh, I do remember um, after I got out of surgery, uh, after I got out of the hospital, like straight after, um, I went to my grandmother's birthday, and we went to a restaurant, and I ordered a bowl of chips and some gravy. And um, the waiter was basically like, are you sure, is that all? you want an entree size or do you want like a big main meal size can I get you two bowls of chips and I'm like no entree size would be fine and I promise you I bet you any amount of money I'm not going to finish it when I when you get back and um, I was just going to leave it at that but uh, my grandma sort of piped up and said he had surgery and then she was more interested and then I sort of just went on and said yeah I, um, you know Stomach is the size of a golf ball, can't eat much, things like that. And um, that was really the first time that I told anybody. And um, from that point on, I was just sort of been telling people that uh, I eat less because I'm not usually in the mood to explain the whole thing. Uh, I'm not saying that I had surgery, uh, not because I'm afraid of people, what they say. A couple of people on YouTube, and a couple of my friends from America and things like that, um, are a little bit um, cautious on telling people because uh, there's apparently a lot of people out there who believe that surgery is against God's will and it's messing with the, the the nature of humans and you know it's the easy way out that's the bad one it's the easy way out and um, I've only had one person say it's the easy way out I haven't had anybody per anybody say it's a you know any other problem everyone else has been positive. But the person who said it's the easy way out, I um, basically <laughs> took them on one-on-one -on -one with an argument and uh, it only took about 10 minutes to sort of sway them. And um, they quickly saw that it's not the easy way out. In fact, I would probably say it's the most hardest way out because you not only have to change yourself physically but mentally and you don't get to do it over a period of time. You do a liquid diet up to a surgery point and then boom, you have to learn. And if you don't learn, and people don't, nobody learns straight away um, you need to learn your body you need to learn uh, when to stop why to stop um, how your stomach feels at certain points in time and we've all done it we've all overeaten and most of us <laughs> chucked it up I've done it several times um, because I still do not know how my body works so um, you know so I'm not really worried and I'd like to hear about people uh, people's stories hopefully if you've got some um, about who you tell, uh, what you tell people, and why you tell them. So that would be pretty cool. And I think I'm almost out of time. I wanted to make it short, and I almost went over the time limit. So I'm going to try and make updates every week again. I've been really slack, but moving on campus, hopefully everything should settle down, and I should get back to normal. So if you have any questions, please leave them on this video, on my channel, send me mail through YouTube, um, send me flying pigeon, and make a video response. That would be ultra cool if someone could make a video response. That would be the height of coolness. So make a video response. So I'll make another video in a week or so. And thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you guys in a week.